Next component after discussing the planogram is gap check. Gap check is very important because whatsoever is not available on the shelf is a gap. So a retail store should know how many products are actually not available and that you can easily identify it through the gap check. So what the gap check is, how do the store do that and how does it impact overall on the business? Let me discuss with you quickly one by one. So first of all, it's about the gap check. So gap check means scanning the barcodes of the missing or lost stock articles. So two types of articles, one articles which are actually not available and the articles which are actually in the low stock articles. So what, how do you have to do? You have to do this gap checking through the HSTs, handheld terminal or HSDs, handheld devices. Normally in the retail store, they have, the store has these HSTs and they are used normally for the gap checking. Barcodes are actually normally displayed on the shelf. And what are these barcodes? If you have observed, not immediately if you see that products have the price tags and these price tags have normally have the, uh, the barcodes available on the rail cards or on the shelf edge tickets. These from there, you can easily identify that the product was available, how much stock the product is having because this HST has the stock record immediately. Whatsoever is available, the HST has the stock availability status. So you can immediately scan it and after scanning you will get to know either this article is low available in the stock or his article is not available in the stock. So both will tell you. So what is a gap? The gap is about the stock articles on stock on shelf equals to zero. So you consider a particular product uh, as a gap when the status of the stock of an article equals to zero, which means there is no stock available. If there is no stock available, you consider it as a gap. And if the stock of the article on the shelf is available, uh, but it is available from this, uh, if you normally say it, it is available from the daily average sales or uh, that is normally DMS, daily means sales. If the daily means sales, the stock is less from this DMS, then this article will be considered as low stock articles. For example, what is DMS? DMS is if an article normally sells 10 units in a day, then for a day you should have at least 10 units in hand. And for example, if the delivery of that particular article is after 7 days, so at any point of time you have to have 70 units with you at least. So if uh, an article which is of this status has less than 70 units or less than X units, ultimately this will be considered as low stock. So gap check is, gap. a gap is when the stock is zero and the low stock is when it is less than the required limit than, than the required defined parameter. So gap check actually allows what? Gap checks allow to record quickly and analyze gaps on the shelf. So first of all, uh, you have to record quickly and analyze all the gaps on the shelf. Either it is a mistake, it is more sales because of the more sales, either, either it's because of the delay in supplies, either it is because of the delay in ordering. So you have to identify and analyze the reason of that particular gap so that you can avoid that gap in the future. Then prioritize goods receiving of current gaps. So you are receiving actually daily in the store, lot of products in the store. So now you have to make the prioritization. The products which are actually in the gap, so you have to ensure that you prioritize their receiving so that quickly they can reach into the store and that gap can be filled. Third, you need to search for stock and filling the gaps. In some cases, the stock is available, the stock is visible in the system. The HHT is telling you that there is stock, but the stock is not available on the shelf. So quickly, the gap check help you to search the stock, where the stock is available on the shelf in the warehouse so that you can display it on the shelf. Then prioritize articles to be replenished. So gap check help you if the, you have the gap available, it will quickly give you an indication that what work, which articles you have to replenish first. So prioritization of replenishment should be from the gap check. So if the articles are available, there is no article is available on the shelf, there is a gap. So immediately you have to first priorities to fill that, to replenish that particular gap. The second last 
thing you have to the gap check allows you to do stock corrections for example if there are stocks available on the shelf if there is a damaged stock available if there is a theft of that particular stock uh, uh, that particular stock so all stock corrections can be easily identified from the gap check which means all stock shortages are can be easily identified because that will really help you in correcting uh, the actual stock because system will tell you that there are 10 articles but physically you see there are two articles which are not available maybe someone has stolen these articles so you can correct that stock and you can easily correct your inventory and that is only possible through gap check so the next thing is about create gap rate and loss sale reports in most of the cases it has been observed that of course the store target is to reduce the gap check the more the stock availability is ultimately will bring more sales for the business so ultimately if there is a gap it will result into loss sales so store have to make two reports how much lost due to this gap products if the product should be available at that time a product was available of course you have must have been generated an x particular of sales and so it will help increasing sales if you have to if you fill that particular gap and if you ensure that gap check is there properly followed and the gap rate is reducing ultimately you will get more business out of it so gap check process development how it works uh, there are four steps to it let me review quickly so the first part is about check gaps you have to scan the barcode on the shelf label of all gaps so what you have to do is first of all is the scanning of the barcodes and then after that you have to create report because that report will give you and the products which are actually appearing in the gap check then you have to find out the root cause so how you have to find out the root cause automatically through the the system through the goods management system can easily tell you about the root cause it was about it was because of the ordering a delay in ordering it was because of the delay in delivery it was because of it was because of anything that will can easily tell you from this gap check process and the last thing is about the report you have to send report which includes the core root cause analysis so that uh, you can avoid this gap check in the future so when do we do this gap check very important thing there are two parts first is before opening of the store and second during the day because if the product is selling routine on the basis of regularly on the store so the key thing is before opening that one hour before the store opening you have to ensure this gap check and the second is during the day after 8 hours which means after the shift change 8 hours after the opening of the store you have to do this gap check and if you do this gap check properly of course this will help you uh, to identify to make stock corrections to prioritize the replenishment to prioritize the goods receiving to ensure that the performance can be improved to ensure that the product availability can be ensured and then ultimately the revenue of the business can be ensured so twice in a day you have to ensure this gap check first before the opening of the store and second during the day normally after uh, once once there's a change change in the shift for example normally after 8 hours you have to do that because ultimately at the same time you can address that and if you are able to address this issue you will get more sales more business for your retail store